A question I commonly get asked is what XB1 and Overture have in common. XB1 demonstrates Boom's ability to design, build, and fly a supersonic airplane, but there's a lot more to it than that. XB1 started as a scaled down version of the Overture design. The two designs diverged significantly over the years, and while there's a lot of things I could talk about, there's three particular things I'd like to focus on that I think are the important learnings to take into the Overture and Symphony programs. The first thing is the high-performing team that we've developed on the XB1 program. This team has encountered challenges that at the time seemed insurmountable, but they've always managed to rise to the occasion, solve those problems, and move forward quickly. And that's exactly what we need for our future programs. The second thing is more hardware related. It's the vision system on the XB-1 aircraft. Because of the high angle of attack on landing, the pilot can't see the runway. He relies on a camera system on the nose of the aircraft that's being fed into the cockpit into one of his displays. We've learned a lot in the development and testing of this system and in the operational applicability of that system to an aircraft like Overture. The last thing, and in my opinion, the most important one, is the safety culture that we've developed. We've taken safety tenants from different industries and tried to incorporate all of those into how we operate. We wrote a standard operating procedure many years ago, and we've continued to iterate and improve on that since then. I think this will be very important for Boom Supersonic in the future development and operation of both the Symphony engine and the Overture aircraft. My name is Jeff Mabry, and I'm the Vice President of the XB-1 program at Boom Supersonic.